Viopta created vAnalytics in order to simplify the management and support of video conferencing so that IT teams can focus on giving their organizations the tools they need to collaborate effectively. Our online demo can be reached from the Viopta homepage by clicking on this icon at the top right, filling out a quick form, and then clicking on Sign In. The username and password have already been filled in for you. vAnalytics consists of two modules real-time and historical. You can switch between them at the top of the page and both collect, organize, and visualize data pulled from hundreds of different endpoints, bridges, gateways, call control, and call managers from Cisco, Econo, Pexip, Video, Polycom, and more. Real-time removes the knowledge barrier necessary to troubleshoot video and dramatically speeds up the process by collecting all the live status, capacity, and call quality information in a single place. The dashboard is the first page you see, and it is easy to tell where any issues are. Simply click on where you see red. The first problem we'll address is capacity. You can view overall bridge and call control capacity, as well as the capacity by device on the dashboard, and you can get more details on the capacity tab. vAnalytics breaks all capacity consumption down to simple percentages, so you can find bottlenecks no matter how you buy or consume the technology. You can see the details about every device in your environment, the past six hours of usage, and you can click on any device to go directly to the configuration page. The second major problem for support teams is finding and fixing disabled devices. At a glance, you can tell if all of your bridge, call control, and endpoints in your entire system are in working order. For example, you can click on the down endpoints, see a list of all the unavailable devices, and easily click on any of them to go straight to the configuration page. It is important to note that vAnalytics is the only tool on the market that monitors if hardware endpoints are alive and able to make a call. Most network monitoring systems only use SNMP traps to test for a response. The final obstacle for support teams is call performance. So we made it very simple to find the specific leg of a call that is having quality problems in a few clicks. From the dashboard, you can click on the bad call. This takes me to a list of the active calls sorted by quality, and another click takes me to that specific call details. Here I can see that because the transmit side of this call from a software endpoint is the problem, that it is probably the Wi-Fi of that participant that is making this call a negative experience. I can then react accordingly or provide this data to my network team to get them a specific area to test for problems. If you have SolarWinds to monitor your network, Viopta can actually integrate via the endpoint monitoring page. One click takes you to the network interface attached to that codec, so you can track down any network issues very easily, such as incorrect VLAN or duplex mismatching. Of course, it's far better to find and fix a problem yourself rather than to wait for a user to complain especially if that user is an executive. This is why we built our Intelligent Alerts module. You can set up alerts for capacity, device status, call quality, endpoint camera or display malfunctions, and more at a time and frequency of your choice. For example, I can create a custom alert to monitor my CEO's endpoints at home, in the office, or in his mountain cabin. This way I can fix the problem remotely before he even notices. I can also set up a bridge capacity alert to let me know when I am approaching capacity bottlenecks. However, I may not want this to send me emails directly, so I can instead set it up to send to my normal help desk software like Zendesk or ServiceNow. This simple integration requires no complex administrator privileges and only a couple lines of code. The historical module, as you can see once you log in, is organized around the problems you are solving adoption, performance, and capacity. The dashboard is an overview. Adoption highlights the usage data, the issues tab helps troubleshoot and improve quality, and the capacity tab is focused on resource efficiency. The next two tabs, meetings and endpoints, are searchable dynamic tables of the underlying data to allow you to drill down into finer details. The final tab, reports, is a place for managing all your scheduled exports. The dashboard is the only way any collaboration administrator can check the status and usage of their entire video conferencing environment in less than a minute. At the top, 
you can see metrics like total video minutes, meetings, and active and total endpoints. These powerful insights are derived through a lot of complex merging, cleaning, and deduplication of data collected from every single endpoint, bridge, and gateway in your network. Further down the page, you can see some of the most popular visualizations, such as the interactive meetings activity panel. One of the key usability features of vAnalytics is the ability to set custom date ranges and have this follow you around the tool. In addition, all the panels and pages in vAnalytics are customizable for every unique user. This customization, combined with our ability to export any page of historical analytics right away or on any schedule, allows users to build and ship custom reports to anyone in their organization in minutes. One issue our customers spend a lot of time on is getting the most usage out of their endpoints. On the dashboard, you can see the endpoint utilization per category as a percentage of an adjustable work week. And if you want, you can click through for more details to find the specific devices that are contributing the most to that usage. Adoption is the biggest indicator of return on investment for video conferencing. The Adoption tab contains insights about who is using, how they are connecting, what technologies they are using, as well as the patterns about all of this usage. Customers commonly want to know if their new technology is replacing their old technology and encouraging new usage overall. You can easily see an example of this here in my Usage by Technology panel that my newer PEXIP technology is replacing some older device usage. In addition, you can easily view top and bottom users for various technologies. You can click on the top endpoints by category, filter by group, and find your top conference rooms. You could also do the same with software, personal endpoints, or even virtual meeting rooms. The Issues tab is designed to highlight problems in call connection and failure as well as the network performance, which is also known as call quality. You can see the overall connection rate as well as the trend of connections over time. You can even see the Viopta translation of error codes that shows you why calls are failing. One of the most common reasons calls fail to connect is this no route to destination code. You can click on this reason and really dig into the calls. You can see that a lot of these calls are from strange numbers that look like SIP spammers. With this information, you can take action to block these types of calls. For call quality, you get the same kind of visuals and trends over time. You can easily correlate spikes in bad quality to reductions in usage, and you can even dig into the bad calls in a couple of clicks. In this case, the majority of problems seem to come from a few devices that happen to be in one location. By working with the network team, you could find out what is really going on in the Capacity tab, all licensing and infrastructure call capacity is boiled down to simple percentages so you can find bottlenecks more quickly. Here you can see that the Cisco MCUs are calculated according to concurrent video ports, but Econo capacity is calculated by HD ports, which are fractional. However, both of them appear as simple percentages in V Analytics. Hovering over them reveals more details about the specific peak time of that day, week, month, or quarter. Clicking on a data point on the chart opens up the full list of participants and the peak usage on that specific day. It is now easy to see if these peaks happen all the time or if they are just one large meeting that won't happen very often. When you are armed with this knowledge about when you are hitting your peaks and why, you can make better decisions about the kinds of licenses you buy to save money and avoid capacity shortages. As you saw before, the Meetings tab contains all the underlying data. The interface is extremely flexible and is important to note a couple key features. First, the subtabs at the top here allow you to pivot the data around a couple unique concepts meetings, participants, and VMRs. The meetings subtab is unique to Viopta because we use intelligent algorithms to group calls into meetings. You can click on any meeting to display participant information, or you can apply hundreds of potential search and filter criteria to find specific meetings. You can even click on that participant to go to the list of their call performance. The VMR subtab organizes the data around the individual conference names. When you have deployed static VMRs, as is pretty popular these days, it is important to know who is using them 
and how much as a way to track adoption. The Participants sub-tab organizes data around participants. So you can look up a person or endpoint and see which meetings they joined and how they performed with full quality details for every channel. The Endpoints tab is very similar to the Meetings tab in that it is a dynamic table. Like Meetings, any search or filter criteria that was applied by clicking through a visual in one of the dashboards or applied manually on this page instantly changes the numbers reflected at the top. The subtabs on this page store a lot of the details that are helpful for managing your endpoints. This includes details for calls that happened on unmanaged devices, as well as inventory information. The Inventory subtab is useful for monitoring your devices, especially with our new vulnerability feature that uses information about endpoint firmware and model numbers to find all susceptible devices in your network. At any place in our historical module, you can stop and export all relevant information. I could take the Issues tab and send it to my network team right now, or schedule it to go out every week at the same time. Each of these reports generates an email that contains the full product screenshot, the underlying data in Excel or CSV, and a link back to the specific data in vAnalytics. It is extremely easy to share reports so that you can make better decisions faster. You can enable, disable, or click through these reports in this tab. Having the right data at your fingertips is critical to moving quickly as an IT organization. Contact us today for your personalized demo or to start your free trial.